So I'm going to show you the basis of what's needed for rosette making. Um, I've got to make a batch for somebody for tomorrow, so I thought this is the perfect time. So to start with, you will need... Um, many people do them slightly differently. Everyone has their own way of doing them. This is my personal way of doing them. Okay, so this is a sewing guide. Um, you can also get formers which are metal blocks so you glue around the outside of them, remove the metal block then the next one, the next one personally I find an extra layer gives it a bit more secureness these come in all shapes and sizes they go all the way up to the massive dinner plate rosettes you can get them in oval um, all rosette wholesalers do them um, some look slightly different but this is the basics, this is it okay and to go with those you have a backing disc this is a backing disc this is the harder card um, some people do glue directly onto this using the formers again I think if you've got a little bit more stability in there you get a slightly better quality rosette that's just my my opinion <coughs> now these ones have a I'm not sure if you can see it there's a single hole there you can also get ones, I've only got a small one unfortunately, that have a double hole. Um, the double hole is for the brooch pins. Okay, so you can see they just sit in there. They are, they are all measured, so they fit in perfectly. Uh, most people in the horse world use bridle clips. So you simply pop that through the hole and it's in there. Obviously that being the outside. You also then need pleated ribbon. There are three types of block uh, pleated ribbon. You have knife pleats, you have box pleat and you have box two pleat. Um, box pleat is tight, box two is loose and knife is literally that. Looks like somebody shoved a knife. It's the flat pleat. I always use this flat pleat. You can get different tightnesses so you can get really really tight and really really loose. Um, I find this is a better way to store rosettes, especially for clubs who order a batch um, because you can flatten this and it still looks exactly the same. So you've got box pleat and obviously this comes in whatever colour you can get the ribbon. Um, I do have my own machine so I complete whatever ribbon I buy within reason. There are some ribbon that absolutely hates but some ribbon it absolutely loves. So you just have to test your pleater. And then you need your tail ribbon. Some people use the same thickness. I tend to use a 38 mil. Um, my pleater can pleat. 38 mil can pleat up to 50 mil. Um, but I do feel that a thicker tail looks a bit better. Then, of course, the all important centre. Now, centres come in all exactly the same shapes and sizes. You can get um, shield ones, you can get diamond ones, you can get oval ones to go with the oval backs. The norm is to stick with the the norm is to stick with the um, the round ones. So this is a 38 mil round. This is a 50 mil. You can get one in between that, and you can get a smaller one, which I did think I had, but it appears that that has gone for a wander. Let me see if I can find one. Here we go. And then you get the 33 mil. Each one can be printed up to what you want. It's just a case of whatever you would like on there. You can also get your plates printed. So this one, for example, is a customer's own plate. You get that piece made, which means you can have writing around the outside. Or you can have it so it fills the whole center. Or you can have it completely normal with no added specialness and that's just what comes with the centre. Foils can be done in all different colours. Uh, you just have to speak to your supplier. So, what I'm going to do now is uh, I'm going to do a quick rosette. So you can see <coughs> how simple it is to make a, make a rosette. What I might do is see if I can zoom in for future reference. Okay, so glue gun is essential, make sure it's a good quality one. I have my preferred choices. 
but I won't give them any more business than they already have. Okay, so follow the lines. Make sure you have an extremely good pair of scissors. <coughs> Very important. So that's the first tier. This is a three tier rosette, but I'm doing it as a two tier as I'm using a larger centre. If you wanted to do it as a three tier rosette, you could either you go up to a four tier um, centre or you could put a smaller middle in. Personally, I like my two tiers quite big. So what's good about the guides is that you've got no worrying, no fussing, there's no extra processes. If you're doing a lot of rosettes, you need the least processes possible that work well for you. Everyone does them different. I know people that go the other way around, but that's up to them. So next, you take your tail width, decide on your tail width. The average tail width I tend to do is between... Uh, 25 and 30 centimeters obviously you can go longer for a more dramatic look uh, I also do have a ribbon pleater a uh, printer sorry so I can print hot foil print on there they're a very handy piece of kit if you're ribbon making um, it means you can put sponsors you can put anything if you can find it in a form you can put it on a bit of ribbon <clears throat> it does only do single colors I suppose if you were clever enough you could sit there and do multiple colors but I haven't got there yet um, I haven't really had the time to sit. So, <clears throat> angle the ribbons as you would like them. Get a stapler. Some people hot glue them. I find the stapler quicker. Three quick snips. And then, obviously there's different, um, there's different tail ends. You have the triangle. You have the angle both ways you have the point and you can do various other pretty things on the bottom as well for this one in particular though we're just going to go for the standard flag <coughs> so put a blob of glue and then this is for Bob's big quiz uh, which is a quiz held at the UEA by Bob Garrett Williams all the students <clears throat> make sure that just takes hold the glue doesn't take long this is the size glue stick I use it's a 30 centimeter one you get few few of them okay turn it over always get the bridal clip they're the first things to go when people are a bit rough with them And there we go. One nice looking rosette, printed tails in a Christmas theme asked for, because that's part of the Christmas ribbon. So I hope you enjoyed the first video. Um, hopefully I'll get the hang of editing and it won't look completely vile. Um, and I will look to do more in the future. Okay, take care. Bye.